guys, welcome back to my channel for those who are new, welcome. And today I am doing a book haul. So today I'm doing a book haul. I haven't done a book haul in a while, um, but it's the day after Thanksgiving and um, I buy some books that I really, really love and I wanted to put them in my collection. Um, and then there were some pre-orders that have come in. Now there's some that are going to come in later on, so I will put them away and do another one later on. But um, yeah, but let's just get into it. Um, I had to pick up my copy of King of Greed. I just love this series and I just really wanted to. I don't even care that it's like the non-extra special copy of the of the book i was just very happy to get my copy of king of greed um so yeah i was able to get that and same with shadows of you by katherine cowles um i wasn't able to get the arc or anything but i just wanted to order it my only thing is with this if you look right here it's damaged which kind of annoys me a, a great deal i've been looking at that desk it came like this so i'm just like but it's still pretty inside and I still love the book and this still is going to bother me to no end, but I did get a copy and I'm glad to have it on my shelves and I'm very happy to have it. And after reading Butcher and Blackbird on audio, I had to pick up a copy when I heard that it was being picked up by a, um, publisher i needed to have the indie version before it was going to be picked up by a publisher so i went ahead and just ordered it from amazon it came i'm very happy to have this on my shelves i love the back it is very very pretty um let's see i think and it has some art in on different pages in it so it's very cool. I love this and I'm glad I picked it up. Also, um, when Iron Flame was announced, I obviously got my copy of Iron Flame with the sprayed edges. So when everybody was talking about all their, their different prints, right? Like all these things were happening. So I actually went through to make sure mine was okay. So mine, my copy of Iron Flame is okay. And I did read it and it's fine. I mean, there's a little bit of scuff marks and stuff and it smells a little funky, but I'm okay with that. I'm so my copy of Iron Flame is fine. I also ordered the special edition of Fourth Wing, right? With the black so it would match. I also heard there was some funkiness that was going to happen here. So I looked, so everything inside looks okay. I mean, this is a little blurry, but sure. But this is what made me laugh. And it honestly made me laugh a lot. Um, oh yeah. And I did actually check the pages, like the copyright pages to see. And my copyright pages were fine, like they were fine, but look, <laughs> it's completely dark. You can't really see it very well, but they had actually pressed um, fourth wing on the spine. And like right here, it should have the red tower logo right here. It should have everything like if I had put a light right here, you probably could see where they pressed it. They just never filled it in. So yeah, I have a bit of a misprint, um, but that's okay. It's still, it's still readable. Anyway, I thought that was actually pretty funny, but it's still, it's still readable and everything is still fine. So I was able to get the special edition, the holiday edition. So, so from Hello Lovely, I was able to get um, 
A.L. Jackson's uh, More of You. And it came with a bookmark. This is... <laughs> Turn the page. And it came signed. And it has a printed um, roses on the page. I think it's pretty. And I discovered A.L. Jackson this year, so I'm pretty happy with it. So that was from Hello Lovely. Then I ordered from an indie bookstore, The Gram Effect by L. Kennedy. It came signed by L. Kennedy, but it also came with these uh, little campus diaries. It came with The Good Girl, so um, Gigi Graham and Luke Ryder. I thought that was pretty cool. I was uh, able to order this. You could order, the link was from her website and it went to a indie bookstore. So I thought this was awesome and I'm glad I was able to get it signed. So I am not taking the, 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 the wrapping off, but I've never read in my life Tate James. So this is Heist, and this is Forgery. This is books one and two in her uh, Valenshek Legacy series. I'm not, and these are the spray edges. If you can see from the wrapping, I'm not taking the wrapping off because I'm going to put them away for a while until I build my bookshelves. I haven't built my bookshelves yet. I haven't had time. Um, I'm getting a few weeks off in December, so I probably will be able to get them done then. Hopefully, it's been a year since I've had to be, needed to build these bookshelves for the last year. I've been keep saying it and I need to do it. It's been a whole thing, but I don't want to ruin my books and so take them off. So we're going to keep, I'm trying to keep as m much of the wrapping on them as possible. So the next one is from the bookish shop. I got the birthday girl special edition. I love the birthday girl. This is my one of my absolute favorite Penn Douglas books. This is my first one that I read from her. And it is my first uh, ex's dad. I love this book. This is the hard cover, and you can even turn around if you like. So, yep. And then earlier this year, um, Illumicrate did a reprint of the Bridgerton series, and Honestly, I couldn't help myself. I really liked the Bridgerton books as a whole. There are a few that I absolutely cannot stand, but for the most part, I loved the entire Bridgerton series. So let's go through them. And I loved how the spines make up the Bridgerton house. And I've read them all. So let's start the first one is The Duke and I. This is one of my least favorites. The Viscount Who Loved Me. This one is one of my absolute favorites. And I am on the minority spectrum. This is an offer from a gentleman. This is one of my favorites. This one is, and they're skipping off from the gentleman to do Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This is Penelope and Colin. And this is my least favorite out of the entire series. I hate, I loathe Colin Bridgerton with every fiber of my being because he ignored Penelope until she lost weight and she had a glow up 
like she's all that. And I hate that trope. I hate that trope. Drove me crazy. And I just think he's pretentious and obnoxious. And nope. Mm -mm. So, yeah. Easy redeem. I don't like him. <laughs> Obviously. But. So, yes. I will be watching it on Christmas Day. Even though I love Colin Bridgerton. But I love Penelope Featherton. She deserved better. To Sir Philip, we love. I loved this one. This was one of my favorites. Um, when he was wicked. This is Francesca. This one and Michael. This one was one of my absolute favorites. This is tied for favorite with um it's in this kiss this is hyacinth i loved hyacinth because she went on like a, a jewelry heist with um gareth i think his name was and this one was with um and uh you saw oh what was her name um not lady whistle i can't um Oh, shoot. Lady D. Gosh, what was her name? Her name is, is literally eluding me right now. Um, Lady Danbury. That's it. Lady Danbury, because uh, Gareth is, I think, is related to Lady Danbury. Yeah. And then you have Gregory's book, um, On the Way to the Wedding. This one is not my my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. That one still is um, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I, that, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton and The Duke and I are my least favorites out of the entire series. But yeah, so I am glad I have all those books. But the day before Thanksgiving, I was supposed to go grocery shopping. I went to Barnes and Nobles instead. Eh, who needs food? I just wanted to go look at books. I just, it was my happy, it's my happy place and I needed to do that. So I had a lot of fun doing that by myself. It was, it was a lot of fun. And I got Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. And it does look like this does look like the old 70s uh, cartoon color covers. So, yeah. But I was glad to get this one. That was, I was really excited to see a lot of indies that I haven't seen at Barnes & Nobles before. Because it's been a very long time since I've been to Barnes & Nobles. Because I'm trying to be good about buying books. But we are doing, there's, they are, there are, there's a read-along that's going on. So I bought... Uh, House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City, book one. And so I wanted to grab a copy, a physical copy of it. And I love this exec, uh, exclusive Barnes & Noble edition. So I picked that one up along with House of Sky and Breath. So this is book two. Since we are doing the read-along, I thought I'd buy them. And I think they're beautiful, so I need to have them on my shelves. Since I am now getting into Sarah J. Mass. The last thing, and this is what did made me decide to do this book haul, is I came home today from uh, replenishing some baking supplies because I baked a lot of cakes and or cakes. I baked a lot of I baked a lot of um, breads and. Um, pies and stuff yesterday for Thanksgiving and we ran out of some stuff that need, I need to be able to bake co uh, Christmas cookies and stuff for the holiday season and I got a box from the bookish box now I do know what's in here I ordered this a long time ago and it finally came in and so I thought I'd open it for you it came in like different packages. So, 
I'm excited for this because this, I know what this is. I've been waiting for this to come for a while. The Rebel. Look at those sprayed edges. Look at the inside of it. That is so cool. This is a legacy student. This is the Rebel. This is Miles. This is the inside. So you can actually turn it around if you would like. And it's very squishy. That is so, so cool. I am so glad I bought it. So I have the Rebel. The Spy. This one I'm really excited for after getting to know Dean in book one. So this is the inside. So let's take a look at me. So, again, squishy. Oh my gosh. It has artwork inside the pages. I didn't see that on the, on that one. And again, you have the page with her signature. Oh, this is so cool. I am so glad I bought this. Look at that. That's so cool. Hold on, I'm going back to the Rebel for a minute to open it up. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. And then... The Bully. Because this one, this one's Dean's, I think. Yeah, this one's Dean's. So when I got to know Dean from book one, mm. Okay, here's a picture. I just saw a picture. There it is. There it is. And again, you have that. These are awesome. And then, this one's blue. The air. So this is definitely the first one. This is Leo's book. This is the one I did read. 
Maybe you'll see Anna's book. This is the one I just read. Yeah, that in there. Ah, here we go. This is so cool. Look at that. I'm so glad I, I, I purchased this. I ha I knew I knew I just knew. <sighs> I had a feeling. So glad I uh, went with my gut. I got it. Then the last one. Is the Savage. Ooh, it's purple. I love it. Here it is. Okay. And you have your family trees. inside this is so cool so anyway yeah those those are the books that i got this year uh, for the last few months i guess i will talk to you later and if you made this far in this video and you want to let me know that you've been here please leave me a book stack emoji and until next time my friends happy reading bye